eat more fiber. The average North American only gets 15 grams of fiber a day. Friday Science Fun Fact this week. The reason why you need more fiber is because it supports healthy bacteria growth. It's what we call a prebiotic. A probiotic is the bacteria themselves, and if they don't have a prebiotic food, then they don't survive. This is basically the whole finding of my master's degree, which I did fecal transplants for, and it's in medical science. So I know a little bit about bacteria in the gut. When you eat enough fiber, the bacteria can produce something called butyrate. It's a short chain little thing of carbon. There's four carbons and some hydrogens. And when you absorb that into your gut, it goes on to support a healthy population of T cells called T regulatory cells. T cells are just a white blood cell that go around and make sure that your other cells aren't cancerous or infected with a virus or something like that. And if they are, they kill them. And the T regulatory cells go around and they keep inflammation under control in your entire body, right? So they're very, very important. They cannot have a healthy amount of them or a healthy population if they don't have butyrate, which is produced by only a few healthy bacteria species. I think one of them, if I'm recalling correctly, is called Eubacterium rectale. I like to just raw dog my memory like this, so I don't know, I'm not looking that up. Another thing that fiber does is it helps lower your cholesterol by binding to the bile acids which have attached to the cholesterol and the fats and the glycerides and everything that you eat, and then you just poop them out instead of reabsorbing them, right? So fiber is magic food because it helps keep inflammation under control, and then it helps lower your cholesterol by pooping it out. So everybody needs to eat more fiber and um, just as many different sources as you can because then it will support healthy bacteria in your gut.